Hello, I'm hoping this video is going to help you with the assignment that's titled WebQuest. So it's for the assignment that really you need to be looking at three different types of purpose. And I'm hoping that this is going to help clear up some, some confusion that is happening with the assignment. So really, if you go through your lesson, you're going to find that it's going to talk about that communication is, is the key and that authors a lot of the times always have a purpose in their writing. We are going to be looking at three specific purposes of writing. And so that writing is going to be writing to inform, writing to persuade, and writing to entertain. Those are going to be the three different types of writing that you're going to be looking at and trying to find examples of. So what's going to happen is basically in our everyday lives, we often come across these three different types of writing and you can come across it in the newspaper and even like a magazine, even like People Magazine is going to have all three purposes. And so your assignment is going to be right here is to do a web quest and find an example of a style from the same source. So if you use the Denver Post, for example, you would find all three examples inside of the Denver Post. And so it's going to be your job as, as a responsible reader to determine what the author would like you to take away. And so that's what we're going to be looking at. So I am going to exit out of this slide. This slide was from our Class Connect today. And so what you're going to be doing, if inside of class, let me move this over so that you can see this. The way, the, um, where you're going to find these instructions is if you go to Presenting Ideas, and then you scroll to page, let me double check. It is page, what does that say? Three, three, three of 11. So page three of 11 is where this information is gonna be. Now, the place that you're gonna download your, your graphic organizer for the assignment is right here. It says complete the chart. And so once you launch that, you're gonna open up a document. Thinking about it. that looks like this. Let me move this over just a tiny bit. And so right here is where you're gonna put the name of your, your source. And you can use anything. I know that the lesson kind of recommends some big time newspapers like US Today or the New York Times or the Washington Post. Something that we used in Class Connect today was called the Teen Tribune. And you could just um, Google that and find, find the website, the Teen Tribune, T-R-I-B-U-N-E. And I'll show you in a minute what that kind of looks like, but that might be a really great resource. And so you're going to put the name of the source right there. And then you're going to find three different articles. Now remember, you're trying to find three different articles from the three different forms. So I'm going to go to the Teen Tribune right now. And I'm going to show you what this would look like. So once you pull this up, you'll notice that the Tween Tribune is written, it's, it's sponsored, I guess, featured by the Washington Post. And if you scroll down, there are going to be some main, um, I guess, um, what are these called? <laughs> Big newsliners and stories. Sorry, my, my head's starting to go. And so you can click on those. But what I really like over here is our topics are kind of already organized for you. So let's say you wanted to start with the category of writing to inform. Well, writing to inform is just that, right? The author's trying to tell us something about it. So you could use science or maybe technology or world news. Let's just click on world news because that's going to be obviously something to inform us by, right? I'm going to move our screen over just a tiny bit. And so we've got adorable new mammal species found in plain sight or lion or lion. Zoo replaces big cat with big dog. Um, you're frying food on Chinese streets. Okay, so you could just choose one. You could even get really serious, like lawmakers told me don't touch your toes. So this is our world news. Maybe I'm just going to click here. So I'm going to read through this article, right? The articles are not very long. I'm going to scroll down so you can see how long they are. And that's it. So they're pretty, I feel like they're, ve they're very manageable. So if I was filling out my graphic organizer right here, under article one, I'm going to put my title. I'm going to put my author and I'm going to put the URL. The URL is the link directly to the article. So to get that, I would go up into the address bar, copy and just paste that in here. Now I'm going to write a brief sen sen um, summary. Notice that it says just three to five sentences. It doesn't have to be long. 
Now, here's where this assignment started to get a little tricky. So I'm going to scroll down to this last box. It says, what is the purpose of this article? Remember one of each. So here's where it's talking about writing to inform. It's not letting me type. Sorry. There we go. Inform. Maybe I'm going to do persuade over here. And I'm going to do entertain here. So that's all you need to put in there. You don't have to talk about the purpose or the meaning or the tone or anything else. I want one article on inform, one article on persuade, one article on entertain. Now, you're almost done, but you have one step left. That's going to be to scroll down one more box and it says include at least two details from the article supporting your reasoning about the purpose. Okay, what that means is I know this is I know this is an inform article because and you're going to tell me why. And you're going to give me two reasons. And then you're going to go to this box and tell me why this article is persuading me. And so remember, persuading is somebody is trying to convince me to do something or believe in something or a cause. So what are you trying to per persuade me of? And how do I know that you're trying to persuade me? And then our last box, remember, is entertain. So how do I know that this is just entertaining, that this is just a fun article to read just for fun, okay? Now, let me show you back here on the Tribune. If you're going to be looking at, here's news you can use. That could also be, oh, it says it is empty. Okay, never mind. Guess you can't use that. Um, we actually have a category called entertainment. In the entertainment category, obviously, that's going to be good for your entertainment articles. And then you have persuade. So you got to look at persuade. I'm wondering if maybe opinion would be to persuade. Now, there's only two in here, but that doesn't necessarily mean there's a persuade. I know sometimes when I've logged into the site today, there's been an article about um, teens and tanning. Let me see if we can find it. Teens and tanning, and we'll call it the tween. Tribune. I know you can't see me typing, but let's see what happens. So this article keeps coming up. Should we ban teen tanning? Well, obviously that would work really well for for um, a persuade also, right? Because they're trying to look at the the effects of of tanning on teens and should something be done for that. So hopefully that helps make this graphic organizer a little more clear. Again. You're going to want to find three articles, okay? You're going to put your source here, and in this box where it says, what is your purpose? You want inform, persuade, and entertain. And then the very last box, you want to give me two reasons why this is an article that informs me, why this is an article that persuades me, and why this is an article that entertains me. As always, then you're going to want to save it and upload it to the Dropbox. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know, and otherwise, have a great day.